All right, let's take a look at Tesla, everyone's favorite vehicle. Let's go back on Tesla. Let's take a look at this longer term. So January 2021, late October, November, this thing really made a move up high to pass 400. What is that wick here? Uh, high, like 413.29, we'll say. It's a big move up. He bought it way down here when it was like 100, 200. It was an awesome trade or investment. So then you start to get this major volatility up and down. It couldn't break 400, kept going back down. Trend line down all the way, higher trend line. So the big broadening wedge. Anytime you see this, you know, broadening wedge, it could be up or down. This is going down. So massive bottom line, top line. Reached 300, you see back September, then the drop, you know, the market. January 2023, this found a low close to 100. And then this made a nice move up. Big move up, V recovery 100 to close to 220, back and forth consolidation, found the trend line 170, back to near 300. So look at this line up now. You know, once each trend line st starts to um, form here, here, you have one here, like this held. If this didn't go, if this didn't hold, this went lower, then you know, of course, that would be a void. All right, so the whole trend though has been lower. So from 2021 late. This has been going down. Tesla's been going down 400. It's at 170 right now. Back and forth move uh, recently. Back when this was August, September, October. 260 line went down. Big drop here. Tried to come up near 210-ish, but dropped again. It's at 170.83 as of now. Trying to come up stochastics. We'll see if this comes up again to maybe like 190 because... Any high now, the low going high, but everything's lower. The high is getting lower and the low is getting lower. So let's look at the weekly chart. You can see here clearly this is all going lower. Look at your top line. All going lower. If there is some big rally, you can see here at the top of the trend line, you know, this could break back up to 220, 240 if something happens major and the bulls get on board monthly. So you can see the peak up here in stochastics. This thing is riding high 2020, 21, 22, start to fade. And we get really low 2023 and then bounce right up. And now we're in a downturn right now. It's going past 50. You see this 50 line, the yellow line? Either or, if it breaks up past 50 line, it's positive. Down below 50 line, it's bearish. Uh, let's see the quarterly chart. See, mainly all green candles. Look at this way up. Going down major volatility, down some green candles back up. But look at this candle. 43 on stochastic. So it's crossing over negative. Hasn't done that since really 2019-ish. So this is going down. Monthly. See this trend down. It's just in this trend here, this channel down. With a high line open if something happens good. If something does happen good, this will break up. Uh, break out. Nice move up. You can see here on the daily chart, this could go all the way back up here. It's at the low line here. So you always look for Tesla news, see what happens. But that's where we're at right now. We'll see what happens next week. If this you know, tries to come up a little bit here and it's being from oversold. Now it's trying to move up. All right, that's Tesla.